I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait. Research station? Out here? Okay, I mean, I, I'm glad to know it's there. I'll probably forget it's there. And I'm not going to take this quest because I don't want to go all the way out there right now. I mean, we have the fuel and stuff for it. The fuel is sicko mode. We have, like, infinity fuel, but um, I, don't, I don't know. I want to get somewhere, you know, do, go somewhere we can make money quicker than going all the way out there. Research station is really good, though. All right. Galactia. And I think we have a couple quests to turn in. Like one or two. And just one, I guess. Yeah, just one. All right. Package recovery. V recovery, not recovery. And then VIP transport. And what other jobs do we have here? Oh, there's two out here? Okay. I mean, it's really far away, but there's two jobs. That makes it better. And I need to go up there. I forgot to do that. So um, it's been it's been there forever. So we'll, we'll go exploring. I don't think it would be worth it to like draw. Oh, dude, 15K this month? Why? The colony's doing anything? Is that just what we make? Tri-Tech Commission, 75K? My, I don't know. I guess that's just what we make. I thought we were making a lot less than that. Like, like you know, essentially zero. Um, but I don't think it's going to be worth it to drop the ships off. I, th I think just bringing them is going to be okay. Um, does the hegemony hate me right now? Ah, okay. Let's buy some supplies from him while we're here. And I sh Oh, I need to go buy Derek Hugh as well. The old mining station. Hybrisil, I don't need that. So it's, it's a bounty, but I don't need relations with Hybrisil. Um, sure, I'll buy this because I need as many of them as I can. I keep losing them. What did I want here? Fuel, supplies, supplies. I was like, why am I here? Okay, I could still use some more supplies, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Leave me alone. 230k bounty. I mean, I don't know. A Paragon. Four Auroras and some other ships. I don't. I don't know if we could take that on with this fleet. This fleet's a little, a little too brokey, I think, for that. We'll get there eventually, but I don't. I don't know about with this one. Oh wait, Derek, you. I was just leaving. Derek, you. Um, and there might be a champion here, but if there's not, I still need supplies, so I'm happy to stop by. I should be looking for for people as well. The agents? There are agents in the base game? Oh, no, no. That's just an agent of the system. Or of this this place. That's just a title of his job here. Oh, he's not he's not an agent in the sense of uh, of like the one that you can control. Uh, he just he just works there. That's fine. I was really confused. I was like, what? I didn't know there was a base game thing. Um, Go here. Bye. Totally going to get myself a champion real quick. No? All right. Hmm. I need to like look through every single cruiser in the game to see like which cruiser is like the best for for me and my needs right now. I don't know. So I'm like, there's an eradicator here. This wouldn't be like the worst, right? But I'm I'm like, I don't know. We could find better. We could find better than that. I do think the Dominator might just be the best answer though. It's it's so like thick getting the extra range on it and stuff I, I don't know i don't know we'll have to see i'll, I'll start with with Do or not dominators champions if i can find them and if i can't then i won't if i can't find them then i'll just be sag i forgot we were on a time limit here i'm glad i saw that i was looking for where the other missions were and then i saw the, the vips i for whatever reason can never remember to do the vip missions i forget them so frequently dude i am so very bad about remembering rem excuse, excuse me remembering them i didn't mean to jump out I was hiccuping, so I was just like spamming buttons. Okay, and Mazo grew finally. So we'll do mining here as well. 5K a month, let's go, dude. Mazo's making money. That's so, so pog. And that's without the spaceport upgraded. Um, why is this making so much less money? Oh, it's because the, the farmland sucks. I forget. Um, I bet when the mining's done here, it'll be near profitable. And when the mining's done here, it'll be very profitable. We'll be up to like 10K or something. We need volatiles. Oh, due to lost shipment. I was like, why don't we have volatiles? Ludic majority? What is this? Majority of the population on Mazoe are Luddic faithful. This may result in a substantial boost to stability and production. Productivity, I mean. For colonies outside the court, it may also reduce, result in increased population growth for Luddic immigrants seeking to escape sometimes oppressive influence from the Luddic church. What? I was wondering why my, my growth was so insane. Is the other one also a Luddic majority world? No. Ludic majority. Oh, it is. The following factors in these bonuses being negated, and unless they addressed, will result in Ludic majority being removed. Colony increases. 
Only has in heavy industry uh, facilities mining. Oh. Dude, so if if I make my colonies just super low tech, they we like we get like all of this stuff. It says and similar, like light industry, farming and similar. Why is commerce similar to to light industry? Cuz like mining doesn't seem very high tech to me, but it stops it. That's really cool. Um I'm not going to do that. Like I'm going to continue building the mining, but that's very interesting. I, that's 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 definitely new, I feel like. I don't think I've seen that before. Dominators are great face hugger. Dominators are cool ships, just in general. I like them. I like them. Faction bounty thule for the Persian League. I mean I actually think I'm gonna go do that. I, I need to I want the Persian League on my side, so. We'll do this and then we'll just turn around and go go kill some pirates up there. I, I want to go do the main story, but I, I really need the relationship with the Persian League because I think they, they sell the champions. And that might, might be my new my new escort package type ship, so um, we'll see. And are there... I don't think there's any other, like, type of champion, right? It's just all Sindrian or all, all basic. There's no, like, Sindrian champion or, like, Dominator or Class 14, I'm pretty sure. Well, we travel through space here. Let me check. Champion... Sector. I might take some damage because I'm not really controlling the ships. So that's all right. Yeah, the storm hit me there. Champion. Is there like a variant of it? No, no. Go back here. Stop taking storm damage, please. I'm trying to slow us down. I'm controlling us now. Okay, okay. We took a lot of storm damage there. That wasn't good. Um, oh, we took more? I didn't think we were going to go through there. Um, I'm not seeing another variant of it. But I also didn't see the variant of the, uh, the Sindrian one very quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm not seeing any variants. So I think it's just a, a standard champion. So we'll, we'll try to get it from the, uh, the, the Persian League here. Not in vanilla? Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, open Sprocket? Open Sprocket? Open Sprocket is probably what that must be. Welcome on in. First time chatter. How you doing? And thank you for the advice there. I thought, I thought it was solo, but I wasn't sure. Or you're not solo, just the, the, the standard one. The unmodified version only. I mean, do I have stuff to sell the Thulean Raider base? Okay, no. Because if I, if I attack these pirates here, I won't be able to sell them volatiles for a while. So if I happen to have any in my inventory, I was going to sell them first. We didn't have any. Why are you broken? I, I must have just hit a, a ship or a rock just now. All right. We'll get up there. We'll fight them. I got to do my defense thing. Um, Sure. You go there. We're just we're slowly running out of sunders, man. Oh, and I need to go home. I, I was just at home. I need to fix the sabos. If I next time if I'm home and y'all remember, please remind me to fix the sabos. I've forgotten that like ten times now. And the money that we get from these bounties is fine, but um, and uh, good, we need the money. I'm I'm mostly here for the reputation though. I'm trying trying to get this sorted out such that we can be friends even even during a war. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm trying. I think I think it might work. I don't know. I just hope the war ends soon. That's my real goal, is that the Tritac stops attacking the Persian League, like, sooner rather than later. Also, I thought this thing died. Okay, okay, it's dead now. Okay, battle's over. Shout out to Nightbot. Shout out to Nightbot. I meant to take that stuff. I just left it behind. My bad. Take it, take it, take it. Okay. So, yeah, they're going to be mad at me, but whatever. We got, we got a little bit of relationship with the Persian League. And it's at negative six? Did, did they, did the war, oh, and Noel, uh, Allot is ready to level up. Did they, did the war end or something? Because I swear it was like negative 30 before. Oh, yeah, they're not, they're not enemies. Okay, it's neutral. We can trade with them now. Let's go. Um, and let me level up that captain. Who and where? Hmm? Oh, here. I was like, oh, where? But it's here. Um, helmsmanship goes real hard. Even, even without the, the, the elite version. I think it's really good. Armor damage taken. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'll just... I'll make them tanky. My... I, the, sh the, the captains that are piloting the escorts are meant to be tanky. So I'll just... I'll give them the tank skills. We, we hate the hegemony now? Sure. That's fine. You can hate the hegemony instead of the Persian League. I'll live with that. I don't need any of their ships right now. So that's fine with me. All right. So we can try to kill pirates. Like if we see them here. But I'm just going to try to find the... The dominators. The champions. Excuse me. 
Um, and then and then we'll go back to doing the VIP quests. Not VIP, excuse me, the Sebastian quests. We did the VIP one. We'll try to do the other ones. I want me Dreadnought, sire. The only Dreadnought in the base game is the Invictus. Invictus, I think it's called. Is it the Invictus? I don't know. It's that big boy, the big cube. I don't respect it. There's a champion here, which is cool. Um, it's broken, but that means we can get them here. Yeah, the, the D mods are too too painful for me. So, um, I need to be friendlier with with the Persian League for them to to let me work or like go into their their thing. But that's fine, into their uh, their military market. But that's okay. Um, it, at least we're we're neutral. I can I can continue on the bounty. I will try to find pirates. I was gonna leave, um, but I'm actually gonna like actively try to find more pirates so that we can look at their military place. You know. Even if it's not pogged up and like fully set up, I can just at least look and see if they have champions for sale like frequently. Also, if you just popped in, there's no pirates here. Yeah, if you're here, there's no pirates there. Okay, why are the bounties, like why do they exist if they don't have pirates? There's there's no pirates. The big dude bro indeed, the big dude bro. But I'm like where, like this is like the 20th bounty we've done with no pirates, like literally like no pirates. There was two tiny ships or like fleets I wouldn't even call them fleets. They were, combined, they were like half a fleet. Um, and that's it. Like, wh what do you mean? This is a bounty? What do you mean? And the mining's done. So the Ludix are like pissed or whatever. Um, but we should be making money off the mining? I don't know. It's down to a negative 11k, which is better than it was, I think. This is negative 3k because, yeah, we, we have this. Because we started making mining. They stopped being, like, happy with us. Like, the Ludix are no longer happy. Um... And so, so we're making less money here. That's okay. When mining's like done, we should make more money. Yeah, there's there's no pirates here, man. There's not a single pirate here. You aren't pirates. You're 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 like you're attacking the pirates. You're a pirate. Are you a pirate? Okay, there's some pirates at least. I can I can kill this thing. I'm just here for the relations, so I'll, I'll take even the tiny fights. If I could just click them, that would be awesome. Okay, pursue them. Second command, send in like whatever, because it's it's like five ships, they should die. Okay. And I don't want to fight like Thule. I don't want to kill Thule. Yeah, I don't want to join this battle. I don't know. We might be able to get our hands on on like some other pirates before we leave. I'll go back down here. We'll see. I'll try to make it work. There, there could be another bounty in another system right now. Maybe, like another Persian League system? Probably not, but maybe. Nah, just Hyversil. I could keep my eyes peeled for, like, Persian League jobs, though, like, exploration jobs and stuff. Yeah. We could try to fight some remnants, too. My fleet's not really capable of remnants yet, but farming up some Gamma Cores would be a really lovely way um, to just get relationship up with these guys, because it's currently not so hot. You pirates, mercantile. Fine. Or mercenary company, not mercantile. What are you? There's a gray triangle down here on my mini-map. What, what are you? Are you pirates? No, prospector. I mean, there was a battle here, it seems. There were pirates here at some point. I just missed them. Whatever. Okay, let's let's go outside and see if pirates are out here. Kung Fu watch my favorite. Chill Star Sector content. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. What are you cooking, Walls? What you, what you cooking up, man? All right, no pirates are out here either. World's worst bounties, man. Our bounties have sucked recently. Also counts for ships killed. In yeah, yeah. Also, I was hoping to find some out here, but there there weren't any. Um, there's like this, but I can't do it. I'm too weak for that. Um, rip. All right, let's just go back to doing Galactia missions, I guess. We'll go here, and then we'll stop by Galactia and get another like VIP one, and then we'll go off to Narnia. And toasted cheese sammies with some some eggs and sausage. Ooh, that sounds good. I am, I am, I'm like a fiend for bread. Bread, eggs, and cheese are like some of my favorite foods. So that, that sounds really good. That sounds like the best meal in the world, honestly. What is this? Canny? It's just from Random World. That's fine. Angry? I feel you there, man. I'm honestly pretty hungry myself. I was not going to eat breakfast this morning. And then right before the stream, I was like, nah, dude, if you don't eat breakfast, you're going to be like starving by the end of the day. So I went and made myself eat some yogurt. I had a yogurt breakfast, but that was like six hours ago now. I guess like five and a half hours ago. So I'm like, mm, I need some foods. My anger needs to be sustained with food indeed. But I think my roommate said that last night, they said they were gonna make some tacos for lunch today. They got the day off. Normally I just eat like a, a small lunch of some kind, but they said they got the day off and they wanted to make some tacos. So 
I'm thinking when the stream is over, I'm gonna have fresh made tacos for me, which is cool. Because tacos are good. Um, because tacos be yummy. And you know, food made by anyone but me is always nice. It's nice eating food that I didn't make. I like cooking, but you know what I mean. It's just nice having a meal prepared for you. Okay. So we're going by Galactia again to pick up more of the quests, to turn in this quest, make a little money, get some more relations with Alvis. And soon enough, Alvis will... Uh, mining's done. Construction completed. Let's go. Are we making money? 11k a month. Let's go. Are you? Is the mining really good here? Is this stuff juicy? Plus one, plus zero? Okay. Not bad. When the colony grows to the next size, that'll help. I wish I could, like, appease them somehow. Also, how's the colony threat looking? Plus 36? What? Blowback? Actions that postpone a crisis stop them out of consequence cause their own problems in the long run. Ultimate crises cannot be avoided and must be instead dealt with and exploited for the opportunities they provide. Contribute 5% of the months to an event progress also. Okay, so if I put off a crisis, it like it, it adds more to future crises essentially, essentially or future crises. Um, dude, plus 37 is a lot. So our our colony now that we have the Luddic majority without like like tending to them, we're we're suffering some pretty severe consequences. Um, soon, like soon uh, today or tomorrow type soon, we're gonna be like experiencing some crises, some crises. Um. They're, I can't fight them. Whatever. You win. You win. I lose money for that. That's really frustrating. Um, I, I couldn't fight him, and I didn't want to spend a story point. We just don't have very many. We have, like, a very limited amount of story points right now. Um, I've been struggling to get them, so... Meh. Um, yeah, so... If we, we lost another 41k there. That's not good over here and then up there okay so at least they're there these other jobs we got are in the same direction we can go out here and get a lot of stuff done we can go here and then up to here and that's four jobs so we'll do that 200 supplies is nowhere near enough oh they hate me okay let's go over here and get some supplies and i might drop some ships off i might have to drop some ships off just to have a cheaper cheaper cost uh exploration fleet like a cheaper to maintain one um I could just drop them here, you know, like I could buy storage here and pay like a couple K. That's not very efficient, but yeah, I don't know. Rumors of pirate raid. Rumors that pirate raid will be targeting a colony organized in the near future. If the raid is successful, targeting colonies will suffer from reduced stability. The crisis will be averted if the progress is reduced to 150 or points, or 150 or points or below. Well, I can't do that. So I, I'm not even going to go like try to help them. I'm just going to let the raid happen. It'll suck for a while, but it's fine, kind of. It's, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. 500 supplies is not a lot. So I'm going to buy storage and I'm going to store like everything. I'm going to store a lot of the ships. Yeah. This is, this is much cheaper to carry around day by day. Do we have too many dudes or anything? No, we're almost over capped on dudes, but we're not quite over capped. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um, so yeah, this should, this should be like cheap enough that we can fly around, um, and like make supplies. Like we should get there and find enough supplies to make it home. Um, that's, that's a little copium, but that's the idea. I might have to go buy some more, but we will lose money for having all those ships stored there this month. But I mean, like, what do you want me to do? I can't carry them all out there. We're too poor. So we'll leave them there. And the pirate raid, I would like to stop, but I don't know, man. There's, there's like, a lot going on right now. I feel like I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions. I'm just going to have to let something give, and I'm going to let the, the pirate raid be the thing that I give up on. Uh, maybe not the greatest choice, but it is the choice I'm going for. I would really like more supplies than 500. Nah, nah, we, it's 100 days. We're fine. Do players, what do you look for in a new colony quest? Um, it's, it's tough. It's tough. The, the real answer is the system has to be, like... I didn't end up picking a, call, a system that I found to be good enough. I couldn't find a good enough system. You want a system with uh, two stable jump points, especially in the, the new patch. Two is required. One was required before two is required now, in my opinion. So you want two stable jump points. You want an arid, tundra, desert, or uh, jungle, or terran world. A world, essentially, that has farming. Those are the worlds that can have farming. 
Um, you want a farming world with low hazard? Two stable points. Um, a gate, but you can get away without a gate. Um, because of, uh, like, uh, you can get away with no gate because of the gate hauler now. Um, but two stable points. A tundra world. Three worlds minimum, in my opinion, for three different colonies. I think three colonies can support each other rather well. One, one for lighter production, things like mining and light industry. Um, one for, for defense, uh, what, what the hell? Ion Storm? Oh, right there. Cool. Um, one for defense, like building a mill base and stuff on. And then a, a third one for, for heavy industry, like building um, uh, your, your heavy industry, your, your ship capability and stuff like that. Um, so I, I think in general, three is the, the magic number for stars. But at the end of the day, you have to live with what the game gives you. Like, the, I didn't find a perfect system on this playthrough. I, 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 maybe I could have kept searching, but I needed colonies up and running or it was going to be like, you know, cycle 250 before I had a colony going. So um, really, at the end of the day, whatever you whatever you can get works. But two, two, is this a hyper shunt? No, it's too small. But two stable points are like pretty pivotal, if you ask me. Two stable points are, are very important. One for the comms relay and one for the wormhole. Ooh, survey ship location. If it's a new survey ship location, that would be nice. We already knew where, where some are, but if it's a new one, that's okay. And there is the mothership and stuff down in the corner. We'll get there eventually, chat. I'll get there eventually. Um, where's the survey ship? That seems new. I don't think we knew about that. And also, um... Go to the Hadriel, a barren world. Hadriel? Am I in the wrong system? Oh, I am. I didn't need to pop in here. That's my bad. Um, but it's we we earn supplies. We had 500 supplies when we made it out here, um, because of all these probes and stuff. We earn supplies. Thankfully, the probes had no combat. Some of them normally have combat, so we got a little lucky there. Explore the ruins, salvage. Eh, not bad. We're not we're probably not going to use that nano forge ever. But not bad. I take one time. Only, I only one time found a, a Gaia type planet. A Gaia type planet? What what do you mean Gaia? I've never seen Gaia before. I think that might have been from a mod. Because um, I've, I've never seen a Gaia planet before. And I've done some some, some pretty fair exploration in my day. Um, so I've, I've never heard of that. Survey ship? That's cool. I don't think we knew of that one, so that's fine. It's it's around the edge of the system. It's not shocking that there's a survey ship there. But years ago, it might have been from a mod. Maybe. Or maybe they made, like, Terran. Like, like maybe the, the phrase for, for Terran worlds used to be Gaia worlds. Um, I don't know. But if you do choose to do a uh, an older an older sector, because like I choose just mixed, like the game, like the standard setting is mixed age. If you do an old sector, you'll get plenty of Terran worlds and stuff. Um, so if you do want to colonization to be a little bit more like um like if you want it to be easier to find a system, you can just make the system old, the sector old. And if you want to make it impossible to find a Terran world, like if you want that to be like a one in a million, um you can you can make the the system new, the the sector new. Excuse me. And if the sector is new, everything's hot, and it's all, like, molten lava worlds everywhere. I don't... Yeah, I can't survey. Uh, that one's pretty cheap, but whatever. I don't have ships for it, so I can't survey the, the big ships any... Or the big planets anymore. I can, but it's expensive. It's not worthwhile. Okay, and dude, we keep getting these without combat, which is pog. Because I don't have ships for combat. Normally, I like the combat, because you get gamma cores from them, and they're relatively easy. But with the fleet right now, I can't be doing combat, so... I'm totally okay to just have, like, you know, some some probes that are just, you know, freebies, essentially. I will take those. And we're doing really good on supplies. We're up we're up 200 above where we left with, so we shouldn't run out of supplies during the, uh, the missions here. We're making 28k a month. That's without the pirate raid happening, though. This pirate raid's gonna, like, cause some issues. And we're almost up to 250? Um... Maybe the pirate raid is the crises? And it's only gonna happen if we get to 250. Because um, I was worried for a moment that something else would happen at 250, but maybe that's just the pirate raid. Yeah. 34 days until they arrive. Does it tell me, like, how strong they are? Are they capable of comprised of two fleets? The fitting fleets are outmatched. The raid is likely to find success. Losing stability. I mean, it is what it is, right? Like, it is what it is. I, I, I'm not happy about that, but I can't really solve the issue, so... We'll keep working for Sebastian out here. That will stop us from making money, though. <laughs> when the colonies are unstable, or unstable, rather. And this is a giant, so I'm actually going to go back to it and eat from it. Um, but when, the, as the colonies are, uh, you know, as they don't have stability, we're, we won't make money. So that's going to be bad for a couple months, but whatever. Yeah, That's really good, dude. 
Like, that's so much movement we just got. And I can do it again. It took me to another star. There's a giant right here. Uh -huh. Going, going with this, going around the system is so much better, dude. This is so powerful. And it's so fun. Yeah. Like, how could you not love doing that? That's 10 out of 10. Amazing fun. Um, so let's go up here, and then we'll go back from there. And I'm sure, yeah, this is a red giant. Yeah, I was going to say I'm sure we could find one, but there's literally where we're going. Um, excuse me? Go. Okay, there we go. So that that was a lot of time saved. Like, just now, we saved, like, like a week of travel time and, like, five or ten minutes of flying around. Um, so it's really good. Megaports are done. Let's go, dude. So our colonies will make a little more money. The Ludix will probably hate me even more, but... We should be making more money because the stability will go up and stuff. The accessibility will go up. So they're getting there. 10 out of 10 would yeet again. Honestly, it's like 12 out of 10 would yeet again. Would yeet me and all my family once more. It was it was very fun. The yeeting was great. That's some good yeets right there. So we're here quite quickly. Thanks to my yeeting. Yeet? Yeah, ye out of 10. I would give it a ye out of T. Mm, sure. What was this that I just picked up? Like an, a, 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 a weapons cache or something? That was so much stuff. Why'd I get all that stuff? I'm not mad, but why? And what am I doing here? What do you want from me? The relic ship? All right, that sucks. Where is it? Is it in the heart of the system? Located in a ring system. Okay, yeah, it's, so that's fine. In a ring system in the heart, so that's fine. Desert world, cryovolcanic gas giant. I mean, there's a chance this place could be like goaded and we could try to live out here. Like after we finish colonizing our system. Probably not though. Especially with that desert world not being pog. I think I'm gonna go with no, we're not living here. Are you chasing after me? I think you are. All right. Is this a lasher? Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? But it's just a lasher. I, I always feel like I need to not click yes to this because it's like, why would it give you the option? But I've never had any problems with it, so. I will take the pirate, but if they explode me or something, I'm gonna be tilted. If they attack me for no reason, I'm gonna be upset with them. Are you e-burning after me? Brother, leave me alone. Like, you don't have the capability for this, dude. No shot. I will, I will just fight them. Using this, this fleet in battle will not. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so they have a lot of ships, and we have two ships, but I, I think we got this one in the bag. Uh, our two ships are way better than all of their ships combined. Like, we. I will kill, like, half their ships with one blast. Like, half of the ships will die to one tachyon, blan uh, tachyon lance, like, blast. So it, it's okay. Like, not, not a half all at once, but each ship will die to a blast. Um, each one will take one blast, and, like, that's it. So, it'll, it'll take very, very little time to win this fight. I'm shocked they even fought me. Again, they were they were not powerful enough to fight me. Like, the, the pirates are, like, arrogant, you know? They're, they're very, like, optimistic in terms of what, what they think they can do, but, like, this was pretty out there, man. Like, they, they didn't have much. This was a, a very modest fleet to, to be attacking someone. Especially someone with a paradox. Yeah, it's the battle's over already. All of their small ships just died before they could do anything. I don't know. They had a big numeric adva advantage, so maybe that was it. The game was like, dude, there's like 10 of them and only two of you. Surely they can win. But nah. Nah, they didn't have a chance. They shouldn't have tried. And dude, the Apogee has never died, Chad. It's been in the fleet the whole time, just chilling. It's never died. I'm a big fan of the Apogee build we have going. I don't think it's the best combat ship, but I think it served us really well. I think it served us quite well. All right. I mean, they they asked for it. I didn't want to fight them. They wanted to fight me. I don't know what that was all about. I tried to run away and not fight them because I just don't want to fight. Like, I don't want to spend the supplies, but they really wanted to fight, so whatever. I gave them what they wanted. Okay, is there anything over here? Nah. Um, You look like you're going to murder me. That, you seem murderous. You're just, you're large enough that I'm scared of you. All right, let's get out of here. We shall leave. There's some stuff here? Yeah, yeah, stuff here. And 35K this month, that's not bad. I thought we'd be losing money because of like the pirate raid, but I guess it hasn't happened yet. 
Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.